fast turn when swimming front or back crawl is a complicated coordination of technical elements. A good completion of fast freestyle turns allows you to noticeably increase the speed with which you complete your distance and take the lead over your opponents. An experienced swimmer spends about 0.6 to 0.8 seconds on this. Learn how to perfect this technique. At a distance of about 1.5 meters from the wall, the last stroke before the turn is executed, which is a part of the high-speed turn. The head and upper part of the trunk follow the hand and go under the water, beginning to group before the rotation. A small butterfly kick, completed at the moment of putting the head and chest under the water, helps to give speed and correct movement trajectory. Then there is a strong flexure of the athlete's hip joints. At this moment, the core's muscles are in full use for maximum acceleration before the rotation. The knees should be in such position as though they were trying to come in contact with the forehead. Then, the feet submerge into the water with increasing speed and move toward the pool wall. During the rotation, the swimmer's arms continue to lean against the water and help complete the turn, helping to keep the body steady under the water. When the feet are placed on the wall, the legs remain bent in the knee joints to complete a forceful repulsion. It is important to ungroup in time and take the starting position before pushing away from the wall so that the swimmer's arms, shoulders, pelvis, and feet are located on the same horizontal line and are parallel to the bottom of the pool. Then a powerful repulsion off the wall is completed with the feet to achieve the fastest movement. A fast freestyle turn is part of any effective swimming practice. A systematically correct and well-executed fast turn will allow you to make the most effective use of your technical superiority in competitions. Due to dense grouping, rapid rotation, powerful and rapid repulsion, and correctly positioning the body in the water at the time of sliding to achieve the maximum speed when exiting to the water surface.